how to solve a projectile motion problem. Projectile motion is a fancy name for motion that travels in two dimensions, specifically up and down and horizontally, uh, usually in a gravitational field like on planet Earth. So the problem we're going to solve as a practice problem today is this. You take a running leap off of a high dive platform. You were running at 2.8 meters per second when you uh, leave the platform, and you hit the water 2.6 seconds later. How high was the platform, and how far from the base of the platform do you land in the water? First step, I want you to always draw a picture of these problems. Diving platform, you, the pool. When you dive off this platform, your body is going to follow a parabolic path, a parabola shaped path down to the water. The range or horizontal distance you cover is here. The vertical change, how high is the platform, is here. We're provided with two bits of information. Number one, you leave the platform with a velocity of 2.8 meters per second. Now what I know about that velocity is that it's horizontal because when I run off the platform, I'm going to be running horizontally. Think like Wiley E. Coyote. When he runs off the cliff, before he looks down, he's running out sideways, not up and down. I strike the water 2.6 seconds later. For a projectile motion problem, remember this, the single most important thing. Vertical and horizontal displacements happen independent of each other. So the first thing to know is that in the vertical direction, you're accelerating downwards. In the horizontal direction, there's nothing to accelerate you, so you move at a constant velocity. in terms of a problem-solving approach. Let's first answer the how high is the diving board part of the problem. Okay, from the world of falling objects, I remember my kinematics equations here. So what equation makes sense when I know a time until I splash down? Um, you look at your options here. I'm looking to know how high the diving board is. That's going to be a delta x or a delta y, just depending on what label you give it. I like this equation here. OK, the initial velocity. I know it's tempting to want to grab this number because it was given as an initial velocity. Not true. The vertical velocity is zero. Solving that problem. Uh, the math comes out to be 33.1 meters. That's one part of the question, how high is the diving board? Second question has to do with horizontal motion. How far out do you travel from the diving board before you strike the water? In horizontal motion, the velocity is constant. This takes you back to your V average relationship. Your velocity is your change in your position over the change in time. Stated differently, if I want to know delta x, velocity times time. My initial velocity is horizontal 2.8 meters per second. Time given as 2.6 seconds to accomplish both the vertical and horizontal motion. The result there 
gives you a position change of 7.3 meters. The question asks, how tall is the diving board? We answered that earlier. 33.1 meters. How far out from the base of the diving board until you strike the water? 7.3 meters. Looks like my drawing is not at all to scale, and that's a ridiculously high diving board. <laughs>